By now, everyone has heard about all the artificial intelligence tools out there just exploding. Recently, I've been using Stable Diffusion quite a bit. This is most commonly known as Midjourney, as that's the popular paid use tool. Well, today I'm going to show you how I generated these tools locally by running AI on my PC. Thanks to open source initiatives, people are sharing the methods that they're doing this, and it gets easier and easier by the day. First things first, you have to make an account over at Hugging Face. Now, despite the funny name of this, it is a trustworthy site. These are a bunch of super cool people doing amazing things. What you're gonna need is the Stable Diffusion Web UI, which is known as Automatic 1111. You're gonna need to clone that Git repo as well. For this, you're going to need to be familiar with Git at a minimum. So there's lots of tutorials out there. I use Windows version of the GUI, but you can use the command line version. Long story short, you just need to clone the Git repo to your local PC once you're set up with Git. I'll just follow the tutorials. It's super easy. Nothing to it. Now back over at Hugging Face, what you're going to need is the Stable Diffusion model. So you just search for Stable Diffusion. And these are all the different ones that you can use. These are big. These are multiple gigabytes and you're just going to download them. Just take whatever models you want. There's new ones every day. This will be outdated at the time you see this video. There'll be new and more complex AI models available here. We'll end up putting these inside of our automatic 1111 program uh, in a location that it can use them. These are the different models that actually uh, run the artificial intelligence, which uh, is the learned uh, data sets that it uses to generate some pretty amazing imagery. So the different models are going to give you different results and you can have as many as you want on your PC. You're only limited by hard drive space. You're also going to need Python. I'll put all the links down below. Just install Python from python.org. You don't need to know how to use this. The program will use it for you. Now inside of our cloned Git repo, we're going to locate the models folder. And in there, you're going to look for the stable diffusion. And it says, put your models here, put your data sets here. We're just going to copy those files we downloaded from Hugging Face into this directory and we're done. We don't have to do anything with them. Automatic 1111 will look after it for us. This episode brought to you in part by PCBWay. Check them out at the link below for your next electronics project. They offer competitive rates for all PCBs, parts and assembly as well as 24-7 tracking of your order from start to finish. In the main directory, find webui.bat. This is a batch file that starts the program. Give it some time to fire up. Depending on your graphics card, it may take a little bit. It may be really quick. Mine's pretty fast on my PC. Now, this does require a pretty heavy duty graphics card to run this. You are running uh, artificial intelligence on your local PC. So uh, if you run into troubles here when you go to generate images, uh, don't despair. You may be limited by your hardware. Although this is a very similar output to Midjourney, you'll find this interface a little bit different. So at the top is your different checkpoints that you downloaded. The text to image tab is the one we're going to be using most here. That's where you put in your prompt. Below that is the negative image prompt and below that is your different settings for your images. Uh, you're going to need to keep them small on most PCs. These sampling methods are the different uh, methods that it's going to use in the AI, I find they're all a little bit different and you can just play around with them to see the results you get. Now the prompt or trigger that you put in, the text that you tell it what you want for an image is the key to stable diffusion and it changes as time goes on. Uh, there's tons and tons of websites out there that tell you how to do this and lots of really cool prompts. So if this doesn't make a lot of sense, you can just go ahead and put whatever you want in there. No fancy switches, no fancy uh, tags on the ends. Just say, hey, I want a cat in a green field and it'll kick one out. 
Stable Diffusion really struggles with text and human hands. The new versions uh, are actually a lot better. So just change the size of the batches that you want. I, I just do one now and it's a lot easier than crunching away on four of them. And once your image kicks out, you can click on it and full size it. And these are the results you get. It's pretty neat. Organics and scenery is where Stable Diffusion truly shines. It does an amazing job on forest and mountainscapes and various other scenes, but it's all in the way you do the prompt. If you ask for photo reel or a photo, you'll get a lot different results than say painting or portrait. Uh, you can add different lens types for DSLR camera into your description, into your prompt, and you'll get different results anything goes the AI just interprets what you give it uh, to the best of its ability and some of the results are just amazing here I tried quite a bit more involved prompt and you can see it, it does an amazing job I never did figure out why uh, when I pick one item or one animal it always seems to output two with my models but you'll see this these two wolves come out pretty decent for generated on my local pc how cool is that even pixel creeping the details are pretty incredible for just at the resolution that i'm running my hardware limits me to not go any higher than this but not bad you could also upscale this using some other ai tools kind of neat their eyes are a little bit funky here though so let's try something else this is a prompt I found on Reddit and the results are significantly different than anything I've tried before. Notice the width height and the config scale. The config I find to the bottom third to be the best and sampling steps about the middle to be the best. Speed this up a little bit and we'll get to the end and the results are just simply stunning. I can't believe how well these come out. Like This is as close to a real image as I've seen yet using Stable Diffusion. It's, it's incredible. And this is all free and running locally on my PC. There is no limit. We can make whatever we want forever. How cool. Just repeating the same prompts will give you completely different results as long as the seed is set, in this case, to negative one. That's random. If you give it the same seed, you'll get the exact or very close results. But just rerunning the prompt every time will give you some incredible results. And this does not disappoint. Like, how cool is this image, right? This is pretty neat for a completely computer generated just based on some text. So if you want to get started in artificial intelligence, I think this is a great way to give it a try for imagery on your local PC, all free, other than signing up for a Hugging Face account, which is free and it's a bunch of open source people. There's nothing required here. There's no strings attached and you can use this forever. It requires no external resources. So you can just run this on any PC as long as you want. Pretty amazing results out of it too. I'm pretty happy with it. And like I said, I was able to flesh out my entire website with imagery and it's only getting better. As these models get better, as these checkpoints improve, the results are absolutely stunning. Give it a try, let me know what you think. I'm Eric from the Make Me Lab, see you next video.